There's tons of information about you floating across the internet. Just think about what could happen if that data fell into the wrong hands. Unfortunately, data breaches and leaks happen all the time, and hackers never stop trying to access your forbidden data. So in this video, I'll go through the biggest data breaches and show you how to check if you're a victim. Let's dive in. Number one on our biggest breach list is Yahoo. 500 million user accounts were hacked back in 2014. But if that wasn't enough, in 2016, Yahoo revealed that a different attack back in 2013 compromised more than 1 billion accounts. The final figure of user accounts exposed was allegedly 3 billion. These two attacks are the largest known security breaches of one company's computer network. The leaked data includes names, telephone numbers, dates of birth, encrypted passwords, and unencrypted security questions that hackers could use to reset a password. The company encouraged its users to change passwords and use a Yahoo account key, an authentication tool that verifies a user's identity using a mobile phone. But critics say that Yahoo was just too slow to adopt security measures. Another big data breach happened to Athar and exposed about 1.1 billion Indian citizens. Athar is a government ID database. It's packed with identity and biometric information like fingerprints and iris scans on more than 1.1 billion registered Indian citizens. Anyone in the Athar database can use their data to open a bank account, buy a SIM card, or even receive financial assistance. So imagine how sensitive this information is. Worst case scenario came true when various private Aadhaar holders' information was exposed in 2018. Yet the Indian authorities did nothing for weeks to fix the flaw. They even made a statement saying there is no truth in the story as there has been absolutely no breach. Aadhaar remains safe and secure. Well, ignorance is bliss, I guess. But security wasn't great on the other side of the world either. First American Financial Corp, an insurance and settlement services provider, was hacked in 2019. More than 885 million records were exposed in this breach. The documents appeared to date back as far as 2003 and included social security numbers, driver's licenses, account statements, and even internal corporate documents if you're a small business. The unauthorized access was caused by a design defect in one of the company's production applications, and the files were accessible without any kind of authentication. This breach cost First American Financial Corp only a paltry penalty of less than $500,000. Hackers breached Marriott International's Starwood reservation system and stole the personal data of up to 500 million guests. The attack started as far back as 2014 and was one of the largest known thefts of personal records. What was stolen? Names, addresses, phone numbers, birth dates, email addresses, and encrypted credit card details of hotel customers. But if that wasn't enough, cyber criminals also took the travel history and passport numbers of a smaller group of guests. Privacy advocates said that there was no excuse for this breach to go unnoticed for four years. The hotel giant was later hit with an 18.4 million pound GDPR fine for failing to secure millions of guests' personal details. Thank God for GDPR. At number five, we have the Friend Finder Networks. A massive data breach targeting this adult dating and entertainment company exposed more than 414 million accounts. The network had 20 years worth of user data across six databases stolen by cyber thieves in October 2016. Given the sensitive nature of the services offered by the company, which includes several casual hookup and adult content websites, the breach had the potential to be particularly damaging for victims. Names, email addresses, site membership data, IP addresses, purchasing data and passwords were leaked, and the vast majority of the exposed passwords were hashed via the notoriously weak algorithm SHA-1, meaning around 99% of the passwords were cracked by the time LeakedSource.com published its analysis on the breach. When's the last time you logged into your MySpace account? Well, you might want to do that now since there was an enormous breach. The hack took place in 2013. Yet it was only discovered in 2016. That means that even if you haven't used MySpace in years, you still could be vulnerable. 360 million user accounts were priced at 6 Bitcoin, around $3,000 at the time. The stolen info included email addresses, MySpace usernames, and MySpace passwords. 
But the biggest worry though is that MySpace didn't protect passwords prior to 2013, meaning that if you use the same username and password combo on any other sites today, you're at huge risk. Another big breach happened to Twitter in May of 2018. It happened because of a bug in the company's internal computers. It caused passwords to be stored in plain text before completing the hashing process. The hashing process makes passwords very difficult to read and therefore more secure. Twitter said it fixed the bug and had no indication of misuse, but it still urged its 330 million users to change their passwords as a precaution. It's unclear how many users were impacted, but Twitter indicated that the number was significant and that they were exposed for several months. So don't risk it, just change your password. Another massive data breach happened to NetEase, a Chinese internet technology company. The breach happened in October 2015 and exposed about 234 million users. Dark web marketplace vendor DoubleFlag was selling email addresses and plaintext passwords. Plaintext passwords are one of the worst things exposed in a breach because it makes it easy for hackers to take over accounts. However, NetEase has maintained that no data breach occurred, and to this day have I been pawned states. While there is evidence that the data itself is legitimate, due to the difficulty of emphatically verifying the Chinese breach, it has been flagged as unverified. Moving on to Wattpad. Wattpad is a website that allows members to publish user-generated stories on a variety of different topics. An allegedly stolen Wattpad database containing 271 million records was being sold in private sales for over $100,000. Later, it was offered for free on hacker forums. However, the number of users in this stolen database conflicts with the 80 million total users which were registered on Wattpad in 2019. Wattpad finally released a statement that they are resetting all user passwords out of precaution. Last but not least, Microsoft. It was hacked in 2020 and exposed about 250 million users. The company said that the exposure was caused by a misconfiguration of one of its internal customer support databases, but the vulnerability was quickly fixed two days later. The company claims it found no evidence of malicious use. The database included conversation logs dating as far back as 2005 between Microsoft support personnel and customers worldwide. According to Comparitech, the database wasn't password protected. Some information, such as email and IP addresses, was stored in plain text. Had someone been able to access the logs, they could have used them to impersonate the company's support staff more easily in a phishing scheme. For Microsoft, this was its second major data security incident tied to its customer support system in a single year. In April 2019, the company disclosed that hackers used a customer support representative's credentials to breach the email accounts of some of its users. Ultimately, the issue in both cases is that internal support systems have almost unprecedented levels of access to user information, making them great targets to hackers. So now that you know all about these notorious breaches, what's next? Well, it would be best if you checked if your personal data was involved in any serious breaches. You can use Surfshark Alert. Just enter your email, scan it, see what information was exposed, and take action. If your passwords were exposed, change them immediately and make sure you're not reusing them for other accounts. If your credit card details were exposed, contact your bank. If your social security numbers were leaked, contact your local government for help. And while you're at it, Set up two-factor authentication. It will make your accounts much more secure in case a data breach happens and your passwords get leaked. Thank you for watching. If you made it through the whole video, pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. And don't forget to check out our other videos, because they're pretty good. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. See you in the next one.